Hello, everybody, and today we are going to talk about Let the Wrong One In. This is on Shudder. Uh, IMDb said this came out in 2021, and Shudder says 2022. Now, this is a movie from Ireland, so maybe it was released in like Europe, Ireland, um, 2021, and released to US in 2022. Not sure of the reason why it's off but i have both wrote down just to be safe <coughs> all right um uh, matt is a naive teenager who works in the supermarket his life changes when he discovers that his older brother and outcast outcast named deco has turned into a vampire then he must decide whether to help him stay alive or to drive a stake through him. So he does not bite anybody. IMDb gives us a 5.5 out of 10. I said this is an Irish horror movie. I love the Irish horror movies. But <coughs> they actually have some pretty good ones. <coughs> But this is an Irish horror movie, and I love the Irish horror. They actually have some pretty good ones, so definitely check it out if you like that kind of thing. Um, and I love the title playing off Let the Right One In. So they have instead have Let the Wrong One In, so I thought that was pretty So this starts off in Transylvania, and you open on a bridal party, and they have a giant inflatable dick <laughs> and they're running from this big burly guy and the bride has a drink we're assuming i guess she steals the drink from this guy and they're running and uh they need to get away from him they even throw the giant inflatable dick out him and it bounces it's quite funny but uh, then after that happens um, some more happens to that. I don't want to spoil too much. But then they switch to Dublin. And there we meet. I find out that there's this taxi driver. And you may recognize the taxi driver. He was on Buffy. And I did forget his name. I don't. I didn't watch Buffy. Um, so I don't remember what character he played on that. But he drives a taxi cab and he's got other taxi cab drivers keeping an eye out for vampires so they keep up so pretty much everybody's really easily believe in vampires there's no scene in there where somebody's like i shouldn't say no scene there's a little bit of not believing but for the most part you believe vampires instantly in this movie probably because ireland <laughs> um but the taxi driver dude he is um a vampire slayer and he is tracking the bride and the bridal party that has made it back dublin and now they're trying to get more vampires so he is tracking down the vampires that they are turning so he had followed uh, the brother because the brother got attacked the deco so he got attacked so he had followed him to his house and he was fine trying to figure out his way in so he could check and see if he was a vampire or not and to take care of him so he sees that they had called a doctor so he switches places with that we'll say and he gets into the house and and there's a big battle going on um, with uh, Deco and the doctor later on. And then he goes and hides in a room. And the doctor, I should, we'll call him the taxi driver because he's not actually a doctor. The taxi driver then busts, I believe they were in a bathroom. It was in a bathroom or a bedroom. And he busts open a hole. It was like a shining reference because he busts open a little hole. He just kind of like sticks his head there. And one clever thing with this, this the, um, uh, 
vampires use umbrellas to get around during the day. I thought that was kind of clever. So, and they don't, they do burn. They don't like instantly go up, but they kind of like smoke and sm smolder, smolder, and then that happens. Um, the fight scenes are quite funny. Um, definitely check it out. They're just ridiculous. There's quite a bit of gushing blood. There was a lot more gushing blood than I expected. Some of the like fighting scenes as well was a lot more ridiculous than I had planned. Um, there are two melting bodies and one exploding body. So there's that. That tells you how much kind of gore is in this. So it has kind of a level of gore slash silliness to it. And it does have credit scenes on it. And uh, my husband kind of thought, was actually laughing at some of this. He was, uh, didn't watch the beginning of it and he catches on. He's like, what in the world are you watching? Because it's just so ridiculous. And he gets interested and starts watching. So he was having a gag at the credit scenes. And <laughs> some of the scenes were also filmed at Castle Dracula at shows it in the thing and on imdb it's on the trivia part it's also listed in the credits uh, about castle dracula i'm gonna give this a seven out of ten i really did enjoy this movie i am kind of all over the place on this one and not the trailer or the rating or anything but trying to remember my notes one is good on this one but this movie is silly. It's funny. It's a great Irish horror. Uh, definitely check it out. They do change into bats into this movie, which is quite funny. If you see by the thumbnail, you can see um, it shows like the person's head connected to a bat body. That is actually in the movie. <laughs> they don't quite turn all the way into a bat. Um, I, I'm not sure why, because another vampire turns completely into a bat. So why he doesn't turn completely into a bat and you can see his head, I don't know. And also, I am going to give a spoiler. So shut this off now if you do not want to get spoiled by something. Um, so I'll give you a second. Okay, you had your warning. Here's a spoiler alert. There is actually a vampire bunny. No doubt. And I thought that was quite hilarious that they actually have a vampire bunny in this. The bunny doesn't attack anybody that you see. It's just briefly in the movie. I just thought it was really cool that they added that in there. So... Definitely check it out if this sounds like something you would be willing to watch. And like I said, it's on Shutter right now. Definitely check it out. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.